Alright, we just got to the Da Nang airport. We're going with Vietjet Air. And it is a nice night. Oh, it's nice getting here on time. <laughs> not, have to, not having to rush and stuff like we did in uh, Shargao. Oh my god. That was a little too annoying. Alright, here is what Da Nang Airport looks like. We're just gonna check the <laughs> Going through the maze of tape. <laughs> so we made it through the Da Nang security there. I had to go run back and put my Leatherman knife uh, tool thing into my checked in and that took another extra 20 minutes, so a little annoying, but finally all done. Doesn't look like a big airport though. Looks only like 200 meters long or something like that. Oh my god, we are so tired right now. <laughs> <laughs> Pack around these bags is not fun. Especially after walking around for six hours in the market today. Because it's my that's fault. Too much. Yeah. <laughs> It's too much walking in the market. Yeah. So we're boarding now and we're heading to the plane. Right. We're going. We're going to uh, Hoi An. Hoi An. <laughs> Hanoi. No, Hanoi. Oh my god, you took me. <laughs> oh my god, you took me. What's your problem? We're going to. We're going to Hanoi. Then where we're going? We're going to Hanoi. <laughs> That's a sign. I'm there's an aquarium of lights in that building. That's so trippy. Alright, so we touched down in Hanoi and we are now at Hanoi. the now we are we are now at the Central Backpackers Hostel here in the old quarters. And it definitely looks like old quarters. It looks pretty ancient. I guess the city's a thousand years old. Really? But this is our room tonight. Very nice, decent room here in the hostel. Yeah. And uh, we are starving. <laughs> Do a little tour a little bit after, but we gotta get some food. I am starving. Alright, so this is our first look of the city here in the dark, and everything's closed down. Seems like after 10, 12 o'clock, the whole city's everywhere in Vietnam shuts down. Only a few spots open. Alright, good morning, guys. So we slept in hardcore. We forgot to sign out last night because I was so freaking tired, I could not even like stay awake any longer so I just pass right out. Really comfortable stay here. Big thank you to Central Backpackers Hostel Old Quarters. Old Quarters because this is the Old Quarters. There's multiple different. So we got a pretty decent sized bed. I think it's a king size bed. Pretty wide. Then you got the cabinets over here. Safe. Put your bags in there. Table for working. And over here we got a pretty decent sized bathroom. Check that out. Very nice. Very good aircon. And yeah, that is hot water. Hot water. And yeah, very nice room. Alright, we're gonna show you guys a little tour of this hostel. We're staying on the seventh floor. This is the eighth floor here. This is the uh, rooftop restaurant and bar. Just show you guys around here. Hello. This view over here. All right, pretty simple. Nice little restaurant bar. So these guys also do How Long Bay tours, Sapa trekking tours, and I guess they do tours, uh, walking tours, starting 10 a.m. I believe. And they also do, and they also do bar tours where you just go along with them, do bar hopping, and they actually have free beer from 7 till 8 p.m. Reception. Computers here. All right, we left our hostel now. <laughs> we got a map from the manager, and uh, we're gonna go do exploring around the old city here, the old quarters here in Hanoi. 
This is a pretty ancient wall here. Very old school here. Everything looks like 100 years old at least. So it is definitely busy down here. <laughs> the roads are pretty packed and tons and tons of vendors on, on every single road here. I don't really see like regular stores per se. It's more like little stalls selling, you know, their own thing. Like this is party. It's like party stuff behind me. Some people selling like rugs, some people selling lanterns. But we gotta find an ATM, yeah. There's like stuffed animal stalls. <laughs> Party stuff. But we gotta find an ATM because I am out of money. We're both out of money. We can't eat, we can't drink, so we need some cash. Now you're all excited because you found the the fashion street. Right, we finally found some money. Had to find an ATM that actually worked. Now we are going down what looks like one of the old school streets. And we are gonna go look for a restaurant, something to eat. I'm super hungry. Yeah. They got all kinds of coffee. They got weasel coffee, blue mountain coffee. What is that coffee? I'm curious what the weasel coffee is. I'm guessing the kind they poop out or something. Uh huh? They poop it out, they eat the nuts and poop it out and then make the coffee with it. So we're on the hunt for a very special Bun Cha place. I'm pretty sure Bun Cha was uh, started here. And there's supposed to be a really good one with tons of good reviews here. And there's ID in there. All right, I think we found it. And uh, just gotta cross the wild street. We're ready, we gotta make our way upstairs. The downstairs is closed. <laughs> All right, we got our bun cha here. It smells really good. Noodles and herbs and stuff. Some chicken, spring rolls. We'll try it out. See how it compares to the trang. It smells really good though. Bet she's loading her bun cha up. <laughs> <laughs> you just tried all those and you said you didn't like it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's some garlic there and this one is peppers. This one is spicy. Oh, I've got any noodles in there. It's really good. Really super good. Way better. <laughs> yeah, kind of smells better. <laughs> okay. With my amazing chopstick skills. Try a big bite of this. Tasty. Try to make That's way better than the one we tried before. I'm not too sure. Tasty meat. Yeah, way better quality meat. Yeah. The other one was kind of gamey tasting. Try one of these. Really good. All right, guys, we are out of there now, and that was probably the best bun shot we've had here. We only had two, but the other one didn't even compare to this place. Highly recommend yeah. checking this place out if you're in Hanoi. Buncha Ta. Very, very good buncha. Definitely recommend. All right, more getting back to getting lost in Hanoi. <laughs> We're just walking down random streets, seeing what we can find. That was a great find there, the buncha noodles. We got these little push cart <laughs> trolley. Looks like a tour going by here. Still never tried those things yet. Seemed like a slow way to get around. So, Mitchie's leading us now. I have no idea where we're going, but I'm guessing we're going to close. Close shopping. So we found another alleyway that's pretty much all shut down for Walking Street Market here. But I don't think this is the big market. There's one a little bit north of us. We're probably gonna check out next. 
Starbucks. Oh yeah, coffee Highlands yeah. coffee, kind of like the Starbucks of Vietnam. There's like that like that also in the Philippines. Looks like three or four different restaurants there. But this would be a pretty cool place to chill and have some beers at night, I think. It's right in the middle of like uh, the center here in the old quarters. And it's got a nice view of the lake over here. We're just about at the lake. All right, we made it to the lake. And I guess that is the temple over there. And then I think in the very center of the lake, you can see right over there, there's a little temple on the lake. Oh, trippy. Is there anyone fishing? Is that guy fishing? No. No? A lot of these places are no fishing allowed and sometimes it's for, if it's a rural place then they don't really care about the rules. But if it's like a place like this, I'm sure it's a little more strict. Alright, we saw the hop on hop off tour bus there and I guess this is the, oh thank you, tour, booking online. This is the price right there. Where's the price? Oh wow, look at this nice bridge here, leading over to the, uh, I think it's a monastery or a temple or something. Oh yeah, there's some kind of fish in there. I was wondering, what's the making of all the bubbles? It's either little fish or bubbles coming from the ground or something. Alright, now we are in Nagak Sun Temple. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Okay, we're making our way across the bridge now into the temple. And it looks a little touristy, <laughs> as does most places that are attractions here in Vietnam. We're just walking along here and we just overheard that they burned fake money in here. Send it to the gods, so that's pretty interesting. I like their bonsai trees. They always got tons of bonsai trees all over the place. So this is probably the weirdest looking fruit I've ever seen. If anyone knows what this is, let me know. It looks like they do like fruit offerings here at the altar. It kinda looks like a peacock or something. So this is the main temple here. Very trippy. Got people praying here. Look at this trippy. Kind of like a wooden horse here. I guess you can ride it. And over here we got another temple and altar. Soft-shell turtles, I think. Trippy. There's another massive one. I'm wondering if these are like actual turtles and they're like, you know, stuffed. So that is the end of our temple adventures here. Pretty cool old structure. And uh, it's pretty interesting getting to check out these temples all around here, all around Vietnam. They're all kind of a little bit different. Well, Mitchie's in the mini suit. It's like a Japanese kind of dollar store here. I'm just looking around and I looked over. There was like a bong here. Yeah, Mitchie's selling some fruits. <laughs> So this is definitely one of the most trickiest places to walk around the streets because there's tons of bikes and tons of stalls all set up and sometimes there's not really even any room to walk around or people just sitting around, holy shit. And 
and uh, you pretty much gotta walk in the gutter <laughs> in the streets if you want to get like actual movement. Some places like this are a little bit more open. You can walk around, but other places is very crowded. Oh wow, <laughs> this looks like a busy street here. We're getting into the busy, kind of smaller market streets here. Oh shit, let's go. You really gotta just walk into the traffic here. And it kind of just goes around you. So this is an example of what I was talking about before, like all the walkways pretty much all used up by the vendors, people parking their bikes, and you probably, and you kind of have to just walk around the sides here. See it's all like food vendors here, all taking up the sidewalk, so you pretty much have to walk in the streets, but oh well. Yeah, that is a crazy market right outside our place here. Here's where we're staying, the Central Backpackers Hostel. Right in the middle of the hustle and bustle. Oh. All right, we made it. 